The anti-dowry law is a shield, not a weapon. Is anti-dowry law being misused by women? What did the court say? What is the need for amending dowry law? How did India fight dowry? What can be the solution for Indian women misusing law for divorce and dowry? GS Paper 1, Salient Features of Indian Society, Role Women What is the context about? India outlawed the dowry tradition in 1961, but it continues to be as much a social reality as it was five decades ago. According to Delhi Police Statistics, dowry harassment allegations, filed under Indian Penal Code Section 498A almost doubled in five years, going from 2,046 new cases in 2012 to 3,877 last year. Is anti-dowry law being misused by women? What did the court say? It cannot be denied that there are several instances of women misusing Section 498A of the Indian Penal Code, under the aegis of which a man and his family, if named in a dowry harassment case, will be immediately arrested. India's Supreme Court has ordered the authorities to stop misuse of the anti-dowry law after concerns that a large number of false cases were being filed. The court said that people accused of dowry harassment should not be arrested until charges were verified. What is the need for amending dowry law? Several court rulings in 498A cases have derided women for transgressing this very sanctity of the familial structure. Section 498A is a cognizable and non-bailable offence, while it is being used as weapons rather than shield by disgruntled wives. This law was made for the needy but in 98% of the cases, it is used by the greedy. It needs to be scrapped. Whenever there are genuine complaints, women can take recourse under the Domestic Violence Act. How did India fight dowry? The practice of dowry has been illegal in India since 1961. Section 498A came into being in 1983, almost two decades after the Dowry Prevention Act of 1961 and two decades before the Domestic Violence Act 2006. The Dowry Act pertains mainly to penalizing the act of giving or taking dowry and ensuring its return. The Domestic Violence Act is merely a civil remedy available to victims of domestic violence and provides battered women protection compensation, etc., with no provision for punitive active against the perpetrator. Then there is IPC Section 304B, but which is applicable only in cases of dowry debts. What can be the solution for Indian women misusing law for divorce and dowry? The law should consider how to rehabilitate the woman in her choice of work and help her stand on her feet instead of relying on alimony in a divorce. The law must take into account the man's point of view and hold him innocent until proven guilty. Many more support groups should come out to help men who have been left battered. Women who have filed cases must have solo counseling to gauge if it's a genuine case or if it has been influenced by a third party. Children should be able to meet both parents whenever they choose with a neutral guide around to supervise. 